Merriam-Webster defines punk as a young man used as a sexual partner by another man. The Oxford English Dictionary defines punk as a boy or young man kept by an older man as a typically passive sexual partner, a catamite, a man who is made use of as a sexual partner by another man, especially by force or coercion, and also a young male companion of a tramp, especially one who is kept for sexual purposes. Get on it, you punks. What's up? Welcome, you punks. What's going on, you punks? You punks. What's going on, you punks? What is up, you punks? You punks. What's going on, you punks? You fucking punks. What's going on, you punks? You punks. You punks? What's going on, you punks? What's going on, you punks? What's going on, you punks? You punks. Some of you punks are just punks. Some of you punks are just punks to be punks. See you punks. You punks. What's going on, you punks? What's up, you punks? What's going on, you punks? You punks. You punks. Punks. What's going on, you punks? You fucking punks. What's going on, you punks? What's going on, you punks? For you punks. Ray DeVito has a history with Planet Fitness. That is not good. In May of 2024, Raymond was banned from the entire Planet Fitness chain. Um, when I went to my Planet Fitness app, I do not exist anymore, so yeah. I've Raymond's ban was the culmination of a long history of inappropriate behavior. Um, uh, yeah, I, I went to, um, they're like, yeah, you're not uh, a member anymore. So, Previously covered in other Institute presentations, a brief recap. But yeah, I, I don't have a membership at Planet Fitness right now. So incidents include getting into arguments with gym managers to the point that police were called. Uh, I got in a fight with a lady at Planet Fitness. She called the cops, <laughs> I mean, allegedly. It's like, go fuck yourself, lady. I, I was at Planet Fitness, and first the lady would not. I asked the lady, like, "Hey, can you change the channel?" And then the lady, that's like the the manager of the night. She's not a real manager there. Like first she yelled at that lady, then she came over to me on the bike and was like, "Um, can you not tell our employees to change the channels? We can't do." It's like, all right, whatever. So she's yelling at me. I go, "How about I pick up the bike and move it over to the?" Because she's like, "It's on way over there." And I was like, "All right, I'll pick up this bike and move it." She's like, "You can't move the bike, sir. You can't move." It's like, and I like try to go in the locker room, like, and she like literally was like standing. She's like, "Ah, oh, you can't get in here. We're closing in five minutes." I'm like, "Okay, I'm just changing." She's like, "You can't get in here," and then uh, I went in the locker room anyway. She's like, "I'm calling the police. I'm calling." I was like. Okay, do it. I, I, I could give two shits. I did say to her when she was like yelling at me, when she was screaming, I was like, hey, listen, hey, listen, I'm sorry I look like a guy that broke your heart 20 years ago. In another incident, Raymond's excessive sweat was disruptive to other members. But instead of being respectful, he picked a fight with a man who was just trying to work out. A guy that literally wanted to fight me like a week and a half ago at a Planet Fitness. When I'm buying my Gatorade at Planet Fitness, which uh, I'll do, and then uh, I saw him and go, I go, yeah, hey, man, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sweaty and gross, right? And he goes, yeah. And I go, all right. I go, I'd rather be that than, um, I go, I'd rather be that than uh, fat and bald because he's fat and bald. He's like, would you say about me? You had that fight and then you had the other one with the guys about the sweat. Exactly. So, oh, I, I, don't, I don't give a shit. No, that dude can go eat a dick. Like, I, I didn't mind, dude. I didn't mind at all. That dude can go fuck himself. Yes, I sweat. But guess what? I'm not fucking obese because of it. So how about that? But back to the thing I'm planning to finish what you're talking about. He's like, you're sweating gross. You're sweating gross. I can hear. And then and he's saying that, like, trying to make an example out of me. This was in Ohio a few weeks back. He just happened to be right there. And I go, I go, I'm sweating. I go, yeah, I get it. I'm sweating gross, right? That's horrible. I go, hey, it's better than being uh, bald and fat. The slow is well known for using rolls of paper towels to dry off in the locker room. Much to the horror of other members. Nice. This guy will have you fucking showering at a gym with paper towels and not getting pussy ever. I'm telling you within a year if you listen to him. If I'm showering at a gym, uh, I don't want to have a, 
I don't want to have a wet towel in my car, so I'll just use a roll of paper towels at the gym and dry off. I don't want a wet car. My, th- those say, you know, a wet towel stinks after a while. Does it not, Joe Larson? Does it not? Uh, for- I don't want a wet towel in the car, dude. Wow. I don't car, like a, Is your car immaculate? It's a Honda Civic. It's a pretty nice no, I mean, car. It- when I go to Planet Fitness, what I'll do sometimes, I shower at the gym, but a lot of times I'll just use paper towels to dry off because I don't want a wet towel in my car. Because a wet, damp towel stinks after a while. Yeah. You don't want it sitting in your car. So I will use paper towels to dry off. I'll go to like Planet Fitness and uh, I'll shower at the gym. And I purposely will dry off with paper towels because I don't want a fucking wet towel in my car. Because a wet towel will fucking stink yeah. after after like a day or two. So yeah. I, because of that, I use paper towels at the gym. Am I an asshole? They think I'm an asshole. Asshole isn't, asshole isn't the word. I would say weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. the only one in the locker room with Bounty. Like trying to soak it up, you know. So it's um, you know what else, and that works in your advantage because people stay away from you as soon yeah, as they see you. Do. Fucking lunatic, bro! As yeah, soon as they about. see you trip drying, they like. Eh? Are yeah. you saying they're naked? Like, what's up? Yeah, just pat drying yourself like a dish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The fuck, dude. Just... It's so. Dude, I would have to be like, I would have to almost go to the other men and be like, do we fight this guy? Like, what do we do here as a, as a group of men? Do we do we let this guy just pat dry himself or do we have to take care of this? Like, I don't know what's going on, but I would have to. Yeah, dude, that's weird. There you go. Trying to tell Patrick to come on. Like, he won't come on. Well, I mean, there's, I mean, also, there's my hats. There's my paper. There's my Frankie Valley album, my monitor that I don't use. Yeah, I'm. I gotta give the people what they want to see, what they want to know. That's what I'm doing. But those, um, my paper towels. So as you know, I do not bring my towels to the gym with me because I got to drive around with them. So Dollar General, you can buy two things of towels for um, of uh, paper towels, and that's what those are. Every time I go to Dollar General, I load up on towels, and then I put them in my gym bag, and that's what I um dry off with when uh i'm done at planet fitness ray i, I dry off with paper you towels. Dry off at the gym not all the gyms if i'm here where i i'll bring a towel but if i'm on the road i do not want to have a wet towel in my car with me so i will dry off with the paper towels there the gym doesn't have a towel no, they don't have towels. No, this is Planet Fitness. They have paper towels. Oh, got it. Oh, wow. paper that's towels. so crazy. Infamously, Raymond once accosted a woman demanding accuracy specifications of her Apple Watch. The slow felt she was not friendly enough in her response, so he called her a cunt. Says he almost fought her. She literally reacted like I asked her if I can, like, see her tampon. Like, that was her reaction. I was so fucking disgusted. Like... I almost like got in a fight with a girl at Planet Fitness because she acted like a fucking cunt over me asking her a question oh, yeah, about dude, the about calories that. on her fucking a genuine fucking question. I just wanted to know which one is more fucking accurate. She's being she's been an asshole. And most disturbing, Raymond bragged about menacing underage teenagers, attempting to intimidate them by stripping naked maliciously. But just literally like. Uh, groups of 15 year olds that go and hang out in the locker room and like drink beers because that's the only place they can drink beers because they're 15 they'll like hang out in, in, in the Planet Fitness locker room just like drinking beers like, yeah, like bad te- teenagers just sitting there like fucking taking pictures of themselves when yeah. like you're fucking naked in a shower uh, like in New York it's like it's just a bunch of like uh, teenagers sitting there drinking beers in the locker room like they, they know they can like drink without getting harassed so they'll like go there and I'll purposely be in like, if I shower, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to fucking be naked just to make them get the fuck out of there. Like, give me my space. It's more like a boxing out move. It's a bunch of like teenage dudes just hanging out drinking beer, like underage dudes drinking beers. And the straw that broke the camel's back in the Planet Fitness lobby, screaming at a woman calling her fat to the point that staff intervened and demanded that he stop. You did, you fucking 200-pound fat cow. It's not on the fucking report. It said you're 200 pounds. She's 200 oh, pounds. Maybe there's two of her. Maybe there's what? two of her. 
asked you, but can't I can't answer know a question. A you're so slimy. You're so squirmy. You nobody. You're just one of those well, people. That's what? you lose can't be held accountable. Back, you can't be See held this? accountable. Go to Planet Fitness. Lose some weight. Lose you can't weight. be held. Just use me as a recommendation and lose some weight. I only know her as a liar. But you up once, and I said you had disgusting vibes, and this is why. I'm finding it out right now. You're a disgusting individual. You're, You're disgusting. hollow inside. You have what, nothing what, to stand on. Fuck. So no, are you going to hack Mania think he's going to oh, fight? Oh, You're going to get a big fucking bounce? Joe being, Liss will be nicer to you? I'm being too loud at Planet Fitness. Oh, wow. I'm burning too many calories. I'm like Felicia. You ever I'm fact check ever, said. Ray? You wow. ever look into it? You ever fact check? No, I did not fact check. I did not fact check. Ray, you're a clown. You're a fucking clown. Raymond was already weird and creepy by any reasonable measure. But after being banished from Planet Fitness, his behavior became even stranger. So and this then, is real? This is what a Korean dick looks like? So that's what Korean dudes want their dick to look like? That's like a good thing. So if you're a chick and you're going to fuck a Korean dude and his penis looks like this, you're like, fuck yeah, dude. This is where it's at right here. But and what's I'm the thing at the end? Okay, you enlarge it. That's great. But why that weird thing at the top? All right. I, 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 I mean, I know you. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to bring up herpes. But is that what herpes? I'm gonna do a dick drawing, uh, Minchie. <laughs> That's a dick. Yes. That's also yeah. an asshole. That's, That's, all. That's an interesting position. But that was a teacher in middle school that showed that to us. Ray, Ray <laughs> asked me if he could be part of DabbleCon. Yeah. Do you think I can come on a show? It's like, you're not paying attention to anything. We're talking about stuttering John. You don't know anything about any of this stuff. Like, no, why, why would you be a part of that? They, they, ha they have to do AI. I mean, you already said you got this tape, so that's what it's going to be. That's going to be the joke. It's going to be silly jokes. It's not going to be taken serious, nor should it be taken serious. And, and, and matter of fact, that's the way I hope they play it. I hope they have AI Kate Meany and AI Stuttering John. And I guarantee that's what they – and no one told me this, by the way. It's just me guessing. But I guarantee you it's going to be AI voices. It's going to be AI voices of John and AI voices of Kate Meany and their phone converse, uh, phone conversations. And if they don't do that, then they're missing out on comedy gold. That's how you do it right now. You do an AI John and an AI Kate Meany, and then it's a joke. It's obviously a joke because everyone's going to know it's AI. They'll do some AI phone calls. But I'm assuming – it would be AI John and AI Kate. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, it's going to be some AI stuff. Um, and it'll be funny, dude. If Rocco's behind it, it'll it'll definitely be funny. I, I do think that. That's going to happen with, without a doubt. And if it doesn't, then they're missing some comedy gold. What you do is you use AI... Uh, AI John voice and AI Kate voice. Uh, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. And I say they're going to do something funny and they'll use some AI voices and have a fun uh, conversation. Like, th th they'll make it fun. The slow claimed he had a new job opening baseball card packages for children. Set aside disbelief and imagine such a preposterous job could possibly exist. Raymond would be the last choice for the role. He chews on the packages, even the cards themselves. An uncivilized savage. After news broke of the former TSN producer's horrific crimes, Raymond went on prolonged, uninformed and incoherent rants, appearing extremely agitated in a strange way. Like you're so worried about what a horrible person this guy is or this guy. Hey, Lord. thank God I wasn't allowed in that house, huh? You're right. You, you're, <laughs> thank you God dodged, I wasn't allowed in that house. You dodged a bullet in Pottstown. <laughs> Damn right. Holy shit, he might have taken a picture of, of some of your genitalia. You got that little boy genitalia that he's interested in. And the, yeah, the fact that they kind of knew about it, it's like just jump out in front of it. But it, it, it seems disingenuous going all over there, John, about every little thing. Meanwhile, you had this in your own backyard and like, oh, don't look at that. We're going to skip over that. We like to call everybody on everything, but not that, not that. That's off limits. I, I don't know. It, it just seems it just seems weird. That's all I'm saying. It's like, I mean, obviously they're pro they're not associated with the ESO and the shit that he did, but just jump in front of it and just be like, yeah, we know. Yeah, I, it's, it, it's just a weird thing. It's like, just own it. I mean, you get it? Just own it. That's all I'm saying. Like, to be like, oh, 
and, and now it's just everything about Stutter and John seems weird. You make a big deal, want to fucking take everything out of his life about you want to nitpick everything. Meanwhile, that's your guy. And it's like, yeah, it's, you know, so I, I, I don't know. It just, it just seems odd. I don't even like joking about it. And to think about it, he's going to jail during the Little League World Series. The one time he could be watching ESPN. Right, right. No, the producer's a Boy Scout compared to him, remember? Everyone's mad at him for pulling guns at people on cancer patients. Huh? Suddenly you can whip guns out at uh, elderly cancer patients. That's fine That's compared to the other. I just thought it was weird, a little disingenuous to be like, let's be concerned about every little thing about Stuttering John when you knew of this guy's thing. It's like, all right, to to point out people's character flaws when you have someone in-house with this many character flaws, I don't know. It just seemed a little odd. It seemed to like, eh. Yeah, not, not, but, that there's a, not that there's a way to jump out in front of it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Not that, not that you got to like own it or be like, obviously, you're not, obviously no one at the Truly Network's associated with that guy and wh whatever. I mean, uh, but at the same time, just be a little more upfront about it before, because it's tough to be like, everything Stunner John's such a big deal. But yet yeah, what this guy does isn't a big deal at all. On September 4th, Raymond ended his podcast with a weird story. Oh, all right. Ray, was that T-shirt that got stolen? Oh, yeah. Uh, Team Sir Tim. Thanks. Yeah, so I went to the gym today. The slow claimed that his T-shirt had been stolen while he was showering at the gym. I went to the gym, doing my thing, running on the treadmill, and then um, and then I shower at the gym, as I, uh, I tend to do. I, uh, I'll shower at the gym. Because why not? You know, you got to shower at the gyms. Why go home all sweaty? And um, so I had my stuff out there and my my phone, my phone, my headphones, all that stuff. It's all there. Like all my stuff is out there. And someone stole my fucking shit. I don't think they stole it. I don't think they stole it. Someone accidentally uh, took my shirt. Raymond immediately backtracked on the claim his shirt was stolen and declared it was an accident. Someone accidentally took my shirt and... Um, Then things became even more weird. The slow showed off a lewd selfie he had sent to his male companion, Teamster Tim. So I sent Teamster Tim. Yeah, I had, to, I had to walk home from the gym. I had to walk home from the gym without a shirt. I had to look like a fucking douchebag because someone uh, took my goddamn shirt. Again, I don't like. If, if, I don't think they stole it. I don't think it was intentional. Because like I said, if they were trying to rob me, they would have taken my phones. They could have taken my headphones. Because he is profoundly stupid, Raymond confuses theft with robbery. Uh, they could have taken my shoes. They didn't take any of that. They just, uh, my shirt. They took my fucking t-shirt. So I lost a t-shirt today. But that was it. But I had to like, I had no fucking t-shirt. I'm like, fuck it, really? Which is better than them taking my pants. They could have taken my pants. They could have taken my shoes. Why would they take just one of your shoes, you simpleton? But I do think someone accidentally took my T-shirt. I do not think they stole it. I think they took it accidentally. So I had to walk home like a fucking douchebag, shirtless, through the streets of Queens, I tell you. All right. I love all you guys. You guys are awesome. That's it. Peace. After the broadcast, the Institute's sharp-eyed visual analysts made a shocking discovery. The top experts of the Institute for Ray DeVito Studies investigated. Institute field researchers were dispatched to investigate. Their findings were conclusive. Raymond's half-naked selfie photo was taken just a few yards south of the Astoria Planet Fitness on Steinway. Despite being prohibited from all Planet Fitness properties nationwide, the slow had apparently been sneaking into this location. 
September 5th. Jealous of Raymond's other sugar daddy, who had received semi-nude photos, ejaculate enthusiast Kevin Brennan summoned the slow to appear on Misery Loves Company. Nobody accidentally takes somebody else's shirt. My God, what the fuck is wrong with you? Apparently, I guess that happened. I don't know. Well, then, it didn't right, then, happen. The guy then, stole then he stole shirt. my shirt. Then he stole was my it a shirt. New shirt that you bought at a concert? No, you know what shirt it was? It was Bob Biggerstaff's shirt. It was a Bobby Bigger, Bobby Big shirt. There was no mention of it being a Bob Biggerstaff T-shirt in the original story. Maybe he's just a big giant Bob Biggerstaff fan. Raymond appears to have added this detail on the spot. Most likely he had the bigger staff shirt in his field of view. A George Glass moment when Brennan questioned him about the stolen shirt being one of his recent concert purchases. No, maybe he, he stole it because that's what he does. And then if he gets caught, he'd be like, I thought it was my shirt. Because no one's really going to get mad that you stole your shirt. So maybe this guy makes a killing stealing people's shirts. You could be onto something, man. <laughs> On September 7th, Raymond was once again a guest on the Misery Loves Company podcast with allegedly relapsed homosexual Kevin Brennan. It's NFL Sunday. Hey, you're gay! Raymond told an obviously bullshit story about recovering his missing T-shirt and showing off a black towel that he was supposedly loaned so that he could display it on the podcast. Tildos and all kinds of sexual apparatus. And I got some for you, man. What'd I say? Got my Whoa. fucking shirt back. Where was it? They washed it for me too. They didn't say where it was, but they washed wait, wait, it for wait, me. Wait. Who my washed? buddy works. My my buddy works there, and they wash it. And here's another thing I did not know: they have towel service. He listen. He, I'm not gonna say his name, but he listens to the, like the podcast stuff. But they have towel service there, and he gave me a towel. Like show him we have towels. So, yes, they have black towels at the gym. So I got a black towel that I will take back. But, yes, they washed it. It was wait, on a so hanger. Wait. So they give you a towel and then you bring it home and then you bring it back and they wash it? Yeah, I'm going to take the towel back. I, uh, how much, I just, how much is the towel service? It's zero dollars. It's part of uh, the I mean, gym. The fact that you didn't know about this is, is I didn't know. And it made sense because everyone has a fucking black towel with them as they're walking around the gym. I'm like, man, people here really like black towels. The slow is well known for ridiculous lies and pre-planning deceits. For example, changing the story about his inherited semen-soaked mattress. This was my dad's bed. I don't want to give up my dad's bed. I just figured out it was, it was my mattress. It was my mattress um, since 2005. This was my mattress. Um, then I didn't use it. And then it was in my sister's basement. Claiming his godparents bought him a necklace. And later the miracle discovery of a second necklace that he said his father gave him for graduation. This was a present for my uh, godparents. This was a present for my godparents. So, yeah, I got a gold chain. Yeah. And then I would take it back to Macy's and be like, what the fuck, Macy's? Because I bought it on the Black Friday sale. When I graduated from Cleveland State, when I got my MBA, my dad bought me uh, a gold necklace. He bought me a gold necklace. I'm trying to take it off to show you guys for the camera. Uh, he bought me a gold necklace. It was like a $600 necklace. Messing the sheets in an unused hotel room to deceive a comedy booker. I'm not going to say I drunkenly drive home, but that is true where, it, where, yeah, you do a gig and they give you a hotel room. And if you do, yeah, if they give you a hotel room, but you want to drive back, you don't want to use the hotel room, you don't want to ruin it for the other comics or the other comics do not get a hotel room. So, yeah, I will do that. I will, like, if they give me a hotel room, I don't want to say no because I don't, I don't want to ruin it for the other comics. Well, the last comic didn't want a hotel room, so why should we give you a hotel room? So I will go to the hotel and, like, just make it seem like I've been there. And then, yeah, I, I'm not going to say I got, <laughs> got smashed and, like, I'm going to drive home. we got to do some tequila and get the fuck out of this joint. But, yes, I I am... Guilty of that, where, yeah, because you'll do a club or you'll do a show. They give the comedian a hotel room. They buy you a hotel room. So I will always take the hotel room because I do not want them to be like, well, the other comedian didn't need a hotel room, so why should we give you a hotel room? And 
it ruins it for whoever does the gig the next time. So I, I always, I thought thank for the hotel room. So even if I don't plan on staying the night, I will try to make it look like I stayed in the room. Does that make sense? So here's the deal. I don't want to ruin because I, we weren't going to stay at the hotel. There's three of us. It's one hotel room. So I couldn't, um, I don't want to ruin it for other comics that do that gig. Because if a comic's like, I don't need a hotel room, maybe they're going to be like, oh, the next comic doesn't need a hotel room. So I didn't want to ruin it. So I'm like, yeah, of course, I'm going to take the hotel room. And I just went back to the room, and I, like, messed up the bed to make it look like I stayed. And then, like, yeah, we uh, went home. But if I was drunk, I wouldn't have. If I, if I, I, I'm not going to lie. I probably had some beers. I'll take it. Maybe four beers. Man, four beers. Whatever. And then after the show... Uh, and then I had dinner. They had a fucking like steak dinner. We all had like prime rib, a fucking free like sixty dollar dinner that all three of us got to have. I ate that, and then I went back to the hotel room because they bought me a hotel room. I messed up the bed to make it look like I stayed there in case the next comic they booked. Because uh, I didn't want to be like, I don't need a hotel room in case the next comic that came there is like, well, the last comic didn't need it, so we're not getting anyone. To... So I purposely. And then we drove back to New York City. So, yeah, I had a few beers. And then I ate a giant meal, and I was fine. But, okay, Canoe, because that's what makes the story. So, don't worry. You're not doing any more corporate gigs. Yeah, you're not doing any corporate gigs with me anymore. Yeah, Ray, I had a couple beers, and, like, I drove back to New York City. They had a hotel room for me. They were with me, and I didn't want – I've talked about this before. I don't want to ruin it if a comic's doing a gig to not get the hotel room. So I went to the hotel room and just like kind of messed up the bed to make it look like someone slept there before we rolled out. Um, but yeah, we went back to New York City. It's like he was. Pl- I, I I had like three. I, I will have like maybe that's not a good thing, but I will have like three beers and then roll out. And of course, all the lies surrounding his I eighty car accident scam. I almost died. I think the person that called it in, even the cop said he thinks the person, uh, the police think the person that called it in was the guy who was in the accident with me. And he's like, yeah, I just saw just say disabled. It's just him feeling guilty. He's like, yeah, a lot of times truckers will be like, yeah, I just uh, saw this car on the side of the road. Yeah, he's out of control. He's like ran into a semi. He's like, a lot of times that means they hit a person and they don't want responsibility, so they throw it on the other person. Just got hit by the semi truck, and she showed up in the emergency room. It's like, why am I emer- your emergency contact? I got my own family. It's like the most fucking hurtful thing uh, you could say to someone that just woke up out of being fucking in a coma. Uh, not a cool thing. Uh, just my opinion. How long was I in the coma? I don't know. I like got. I, I came to like the next morning. I don't, I don't know what was going on. I just woke up. Having revealed that he was illegally accessing a planet fitness, it seems the slow meant to throw off the public, make them think he was actually going to the New York Sports Club further up the street. Raymond probably heard that many New York Sports Club locations have towel service, such as Murray Hill, Hoboken, 94th and Broadway. and Croton on Hudson. Unfortunately for the slow, the one on Steinway does not. Then there is the absurdity of claiming the towel service offered black towels. That cannot be washed with bleach. The Institute was unable to locate any gym whatsoever that offered members black towels. It gets even weirder. Earlier in 2024, Raymond showed his Queen's address to viewers of his podcast. From two episodes I was on on the Jim Gaffigan show. Okay, I think you might be giving your address away. Oh, shit. Is that on there? (laughs) Yeah. Jesus Christ. Because we are not animals, we will not disclose the address. However, analysts in the Institute's geoinformatics department were able to make several interesting observations. There are at least a half dozen gyms in closer walking distance than Planet Fitness, 
by as much as half. Even stranger, that location is not even the closest planet fitness by foot. What is so goddamn special about this particular planet fitness? It has an average review rating of 3.9, while the one on Northern Boulevard is 4.2. The Google reviews paint a very grim picture, describing a gym that is cramped, poorly ventilated. A gym that is hot and smelly, a dirty hellhole. Photos show rows of machines out of order. Equipment that is poorly maintained. Even mold growing on the drinking fountain. Evidence of cockroach infestation. A rundown hellhole. And chillingly, a location that is overrun with teenagers. Some as young as 14 years old. Possibly even younger. Don's in Mensa, like Ray's not in Nambla. Oh, Ray, like Ray's not in Nambla. I don't know what Nambla is, but uh, I'm in. Let's do it. No. It's a North American Man Boy Love Association. So you're in. Yeah. You're you're into. You're in. You want to join Nambla? I wish him well. It's like Ray signing up for Nambla. Hey, where's my application? <laughs> what could you go wrong? Seem like nice people. Right. They seem like they would help me up if I fell on ice. That's going back to the Nambla thing. Before. I mean, yeah. I mean, the fact that he was like, I'm in with Nambla. <laughs> Rapey Mr. Ray. Nambla Ray's in a committed relationship with a child. He's an MBA, a man boy <laughs> ass lover. You believe that more than you believe Ray actually has an MBA. Right. That he could actually be a, a man boy ass lover as opposed to a, a master's of business administration. Ministry. Ray said you guys are... Uh, are all in Nambla. Is that true? <laughs> Ray's the president. It was his idea. Was Ray does have guy. weird paperwork with him. Ray was a lot calmer at the Nambla retreat on Saturday. Wow. Wow. Ray, we're, we're killing tired. stage or in Nambla. Your two favorite places. You yeah, learn where Nambla is. Far. Yeah. I tried to join Nambla, but I think I'm too old. Right, you thought you thought you were too old. <laughs> you thought you aged. You thought you aged out of Nambla. <laughs> but Ray, you right. you really said you think you're too old. I don't remember. So you, maybe you have a new Nambla recruit, Ray. Is that what's happening? Could be. Meet Ray Devito. He's on record for backing Nambla. Do you know what Nambla is, Joe? Uh, Apparently, it's a real group. North it's, American Man Boy Love Association. Yeah, that's a real group. They do fundraisers and yes. stuff. It's insane. <laughs> yeah, Ray, you, they, you might finally get some gigs. What am I? Five? Hopefully, if you want to be part of uh, Nambla. Ray is a proud member of Nambla. Nambla. Especially with all this yeah. Nambla stuff. Nambla. 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 Hey, you're inappropriate. I'm inappropriate too. This Nambla thing. Nambla. 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 It's because that of that be Nambla, cool. that Nambla email I sent him. Nambla. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm nervous to even go on that Nambla website. The Nambla thing. <gasps> Ray. Uh, shouldn't be having sex with babies. I'm on uncancelable records. Nambla, Ray. What is this? A live... Stream Nambla meeting? No, it's my podcast. Ray, how, how long you've been in Nambla? Do you know about Nambla? I didn't know about it. Nambla. This looks like a Nambla Zoom meeting. <laughs> this Nambla Zoom <laughs> call. You and Sandusky. It's like Sandusky? Jerry Sandusky. So I didn't know what the joke was going to be, but I knew I was going to do a Jerry Sandusky locker room joke. Jerry Sandusky did something not nice. in <laughs> Sandusky. That's like a football coach bragging about being friends with Jerry Sandusky. That's like being friends with Jerry Sandusky. I say, Jerry, Jerry Sandusky, it's not going to hit as hard as the Sandusky shit. To Jerry Sandusky, being friends with Jerry Sandusky. Jerry Sandusky, Jerry Sandusky, Jerry Sandusky, Jerry Sandusky. Hey, you know my good friend Jerry Sandusky? If I was friends with Sandusky. Bragging about knowing Jerry Sandusky. Roast joke I did about him and Jerry Sandusky. 
is such a great joke. Let's like a football coach bragging about being friends with Jerry Sandusky. You know Jerry Sandusky? <laughs> Just like Jerry Sandusky, the Jerry Sandusky one. Oh, Jerry Sandusky and the horrible things he did in locker rooms. And Jerry Sandusky was one of the stories. <laughs> Jerry Sandusky. An increasingly disturbing image begins to take shape. You enjoy running around naked in the gym to scare off all the young teenagers that drink in the gym? Uh, is what the latest rumor I heard that that's how you scare off all the, the teenagers that come in there that are legally coming in to drink, that you just parade naked back and forth for them at the gym. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking be naked just to make them get the fuck out of there. Like, give me my space. It's more like a boxing out move. Uh, that's what somebody told me on my podcast a couple days ago. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I was gonna call you about that because I kind of got scared that you're running around naked around our public area. No, you know, I sh no, I do shower at Planet Fitness. I'm not gonna lie. It's just literally like uh, groups of 15 year olds that go and hang out in the locker room. I'm more like, hey, I'm showering here. Uh, like in New York, it's like it's just a bunch of like uh, teenagers sitting there drinking beers in the locker room, like because they're 15 to like hang out. In, in the Planet Fitness locker room, just like drinking beers, like it's a bunch of like teenage dudes just hanging out drinking beer, like underage dudes drinking beers. Fucking okay, quit right. drinking. You should go to the truck stop, right? Why they, are they, they drinking beers? Why are they drinking beers in the shower? It's like I, I have know, to shower. Really? Here. What they? the fuck? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking be naked just to make them get the fuck out of there. Like, give me my space. It's more like a boxing out move. Fifty years old. Standing naked with a roll of paper towels. Menacing underage teenagers. Jesus. Fucking. Christ. Even oblivious idiot Kevin Brennan begins to suspect something fundamentally off with the slow. Hey, Ray, do you want to? You can you can tell us right now if you're doing something weird with the kids, but you're not, right? Please tell me you're not. No. By the way, when you no, do I baseball card opening, too much. I bet for... too much with being associated, yeah. being, being associated or affiliated with the Shilly Network in any way. I don't want more of this child weirdness shit. I just don't. So so please please be forthcoming and say you have no affiliate. You you have, you're not doing anything weird with kids. What the fuck, Kevin? Just Stop. say it. Just I, 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 say it. You just read a super chat. No, and by the way, when I do baseball card openings, it's not like it's for it's adults, but What'd there's kids You're there. Not so, like, on, on anything untoward towards kids? Yeah, there's nothing. There, yeah, yeah, it's it's just dumb, dude. I'm not even. All right, I'm jumping off because this is just stupid. Ray, Ray, just say you don't the the baseball card thing. Ray got everyone. Does no, no, I never, I don't trade cards. Yeah, the baseball card thing's got everybody fucking spinning. <laughs> but you don't, you don't do anything inappropriate with kids with the baseball cards, right? Uh, see, shut up. You're. Uh, I'm saying, just say it. Uh, yeah, dude, it's fucking baseball card openings. It's not that fucking, like, shut up. Just the fact that you're fucking making it weird. And that I'm shit not, that, I'm like, just saying, I'm yeah. just saying, say, shit that, I don't like, do anything I, weird. That's how crazy it is in the devil verse. You have to actually say you're not doing anything weird. That's how fucked up it is. Thanks. There's to nothing ISO I've done weird with Ricotta. anything. Like, yeah, all People right, I get it. Right. Things. They're, they're doing inappropriate things with kids and they're doing coke with kids. All right, Kevin, what's uh, you talk about your his like, yes, there's no, there's nothing fucking. So quit making it fucking weird. I got to. Yeah. It, it, just say you don't do anything weird with anybody. I don't do anything weird with anybody. Like, why the fuck is this? Like, yeah. Why do you there's a, a fucking lot of weird? shit happening. No, they you don't. Know. They don't have. A, yeah, they don't have uh, t-shirts. Oh wait, what happened to the I guy? Got my shirt. Shout out to Bob Biggerstaff. So who's who took it? I don't know. I, I didn't get the story. They just had it. I texted my friend, and he goes, "Yeah, I think I, uh, I think we got it. That's why I knew. I that's why I thought I get." The slow catches himself claiming his buddy said, I think I got it, and quickly changed it to the nebulous, I think we got it. You owe me 25 bucks because of that. No, I know, except I didn't get my shirt yet, and I paid you for the shirt. Well, we're dealing with real fucking creepy motherfuckers. Ray's a creepy motherfucker, but... Why would you say that, though? I'm, I'm being serious. Six, Why would you say that? He's giving you a compliment. Six, I don't think he has 6,000 images. But why would you say that, Kevin? I don't... Because he doesn't believe you're a pedophile. 
He's saying what, that because what, it, when, he, we, he, what, when have hold you, on, hold on. Why, why would you fuck? Hold shut on, up, Mr. Confident, no, for a no, second. This no. is me, me. This is me Listen and him. This is me and him. Declares the slow. Why would you say that, Kevin? One of the, name some he lady just said that you're in the Dabbleverse that we hang out with that been at uh, events in Atlantic Holy City that would say shit. anything uh, not cool about me in any regards. Raymond demands that Kevin name some lady in the Dabbleverse that they both hang out with and has been to events in Atlantic City that would dare to say anything not cool about him. That is Raymond's response to Kevin calling him a creepy motherfucker. Why would Wait, you that's say what that? I'm saying I'm saying yeah. I'm joking. I'm Listen. Saying what the fuck is going on with the slow? But I, I just don't like you've seen me with the fans of this thing and yeah, yeah I, 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 everyone you loves me. Kevin but then you and Tarnish made him were in Atlanta. Yeah, where but I mean you, they weren't. So I, I don't like it. Like, here's the deal. I got to do make a living. I got to make a living doing comedy and doing other things. Like, I work with kids. So I, I don't need. What do you mean you work with kids? I do baseball card openings and shit. I oh, get paid. Right. So I, I, I don't need that. So quit. The slow is back to claiming he has a job where he is paid to open baseball card packages for children. Rach is socially awkward. Yeah, but he even, even but, the baby probably was like Ray, help me, weird. Oh, Ray just socks is socially awkward. Uh, yeah, shut no, up. He, I, I mean, so he shut, no, shut the, the fuck up. The slow takes offense to being called socially awkward, but is cut off by Kevin's erstwhile segment producer. But you don't like kids. No, I held a baby last night. That was it. And that babies are adorable. It. No, and you don't like it. Okay, Ray, this for you. The baby's here. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, goo goo, ga goo. There needs to bring the year 2019 into this. Ha ha ha. Oh, hey, that's a. Uh, no, I get what they're saying. That's a. Uh, oh, they're quoting a show. How do you get what they're saying? You talk baby talk? No, no, no. All right, I'm not acknowledging this. That's a. That's a joke that I did on stage. Not anything. 2019. Um, yeah, but babies are not involved. All right, let's move on to the next one. I'm not. <laughs> what the uh, fuck are you? Why are you acting suspicious? What are, what are you talking about? No, I, I do a joke in my act where. Um, about Goo Goo Gaga 2019? No, no, no. Where I go. Uh, I feel like this might end up in I, court one day. I go, if it's you have sex. Sad. If you go on a date with a lady and she asked last time you had sex, just say the month. Just say the month. Oh, right. Yeah, there was no reason for me to bring 2019 into the conversation. Yeah, but then well, why don't we just say that instead of going, let's move on to the next one? Yeah, yeah. But I. Yeah. But you look suspicious. Like, like you had something Not, to do with that baby. No. Dude, the if you baby, were talking the, offline, the there's. The supercut thing was the baby. Yeah. By this point, MLC viewers have almost universally turned on Raymond. They send in super chats goofing on him to which the slow becomes even more visibly agitated, trying to mumble his way past Kevin's probing. Ray, what are you having? You're out. Out. Ray, what are you on taping? You have a baby? I, uh, no, I bit, uh, a hangnail. You bite so, your hangnails to I, death? Okay, so, so you're Ray's, bloody? Yeah. The slow is so nervous that he has chewed his finger to the point of bleeding. The fame Ray all day, he buys beers for young boys. Not the new gym, right? Ray, give me a yes or no. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, we're, 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 the slow does not address the allegation. He says something about having a great time. Then a large super chat comes in, prompting Kevin to shout everyone to silence. Leave the boys alone, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know I the know. baby I held. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. Uh, ask the... if it was a boy or a girl. No, I'm gonna say it was a boy. Another accusatory super chat arrives. Raymond responds by speculating about the gender of a baby he was allegedly handed on stage the night before. Uh, Roy Willis, he's 50, always single, doesn't like women, and spends time in locker room with young boys. Doesn't take a genius to put things. You talking about his Mr. Kill? No, he's talking about Mr. Ray. Well, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. 40. Ray's I'm 50. Kidding. I'm kidding. I got to make jokes. I picked up a pen, Ray. See what I did? I picked up a pen, made a joke.
the slow is now shifty-eyed and visibly restless. What is he hiding? There's no proof that you committed any kind of serious crimes. Oh, so that was the other thing I was Even trying to though say. Even there's many allegations from Roy Willis alone tonight. We we stuck up for Ray. It's like, no, we don't believe Ray is any that. If Ray's a, a pervert or whatever, we don't believe he's a child I'm saying pervert. Ray's the tie-wearing drunk opines, declaring his belief that whatever Raymond's perversions, he does not think they extend to children. At this, the slow loses his cool. We don't believe he's a child I'm saying Ray's a fun I, I Stop saying this! What the fuck is going on with the slow? Yeah, but when a baby oh. super chat makes you nervous, that is that is bad. No, it's just, I'm like, I work with fucking kids, so that's why it's like, what the fuck? Like, that's why it's you like... Don't even dumb. say that, you work with kids. Yeah, it's like... It's you don't work dumb. with kids. You open baseball card fucking uh, decks yeah. or, or, or packets, whatever the fuck they're called. The slow keeps bringing up the nonsensical job where he opens baseball card packages for children. I would love it if Ray got arrested. It would definitely help my show. So, Ray, anything you can do to help my show, please do it. No, I've never been arrested. Don't plan on it. Raymond blatantly lies. He was arrested and charged with DUI as a result of crashing into another vehicle in March of 2020. He has talked about this on his podcast many times. For him to claim he has never been arrested is complete lunacy. All I know is, all I know is, I, I'm I'm calling it like I see it. So is Ray in, guilty of anything? I don't know. And then Ray takes him personally, like the fucking the baby is sending Ray super chats, and he's getting spooked by them. The the baby, because we have a fuck out. Vice on his act. I mean, it's like Ray's got to know that's like a joke, and that wouldn't hold up in court. Yeah, because it's the baby. The Who's the, the baby? Him? But Ray's like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's like Ray. Ray. The, the more the more suspicious you look, the more suspicious. Suspicious. Like anyone who's watching is going to be like, why is Ray acting fucking suspicious? The slow was so rattled by the questioning on MLC that his sugar daddy had to buy him a new hat to calm him down. Uh, a fan gave this to me. There we go. Brand new Houston Astros hat. I don't want to say their name unless they want me to say their name. But if they want me to say their name, I'll say their name. Raymond also quit drinking for an entire three days. I'm three days without drinking. I'm, I'm taking a break. I'm not I'm obviously not going to be a permanent break, but I'm... I'm taking a break, and if I meet up with the orange, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna drink. OJ, you had an interesting night last night. You were saying. I went out and met up with Ray Devito. Oh, that's fantastic. We were sitting on a bench outside. We were smoking. Oh, I was smoking, and we were drinking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Going back long before that misery loves company appearance, the Cleveland slow has been saying some strange and weird things from quote-unquote jokes about inappropriate touching of a fifth grader. Next fifth grader that wants to tug on my penis, I will let that. Yeah, oh, Ray, Ray, so Ray, 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 that's Ray. How you, that's how you... <laughs> okay, that's thank how you. you. All right, very good. <laughs> ...to weird suggestions about telling men he is about to masturbate to their daughter. I don't like young girls anyway, but they're always, you know, I always make sure they're of age and they, they have enough views that... You yeah, talk to their dad beforehand, like, listen, I'm going to masturbate to your daughter. And unprompted comments about downloading illegal content. The sort of stuff that landed the former TSN producer in prison. I do X-Hamster, X-Videos, and Pornhub. Yeah. yeah and so Pornhub, I'm also like 80% of the videos. 80% huh? of the videos are gone now. Because, Why? um... Uh, th there was some underage porn on there, and so like now all the videos are gone unless they're verified. So like eighty percent of the videos are gone. Thankfully, I downloaded the pussy? videos I liked the most. The five videos I liked the most, I oh, I downloaded. You. You're always playing ahead, Ray. That's why I like you. While the institute is not aware of any sex crime charges against the Cleveland Slow, the many strange and weird things he has said and allegedly done all combined to paint a very troubling outline of a very disturbed person. His constant lying about everything from a person's weight to the nature of a car wreck on I-80, his apparent trespassing at a specific Planet Fitness, one where he has said he menaced underage teens with malicious nudity, the implausible details about the black towels and the ridiculous claim of a job opening packages of baseball cards. 
fighting female gym managers to the point police were called. Menacing female members of Planet Fitness over something as trivial as the accuracy of an Apple Watch. Any rational person has to wonder, what the hell is going on with the Cleveland Slow? But like, I used to lie all the time when I was a kid. Like if I was like, all right, I'm gonna get blamed for something, I would just lie about everything. I never told my mom anything. And then when I did, I would just lie to her. I, I, I just did that. Because they're 15, they'll like hang out in, in, in the Planet Fitness locker room, just like drinking beers, like. It's a bunch of like teenage dudes just hanging out drinking beer, like underage dudes drinking beers. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking be naked just to make them get the fuck out of there. Like, give me my space. It's more like a boxing out move. Uh, I got in a fight with a lady at Planet Fitness. She called the cops. I went in the locker room anyway. She's like, I'm calling the police. I'm calling. I was like, okay, do it. I, I, I could give two shits. I almost like got in a fight with a girl at Planet Fitness because she acted like a fucking cunt. I just wanted to know which one is more fucking accurate. A genuine fucking question. She's been an asshole. As a great parliamentarian Edinburgh says, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. And that, in essence, is why I'm here today.